Hey everybody, it's EK from EK Gorm Designs, and I am coming in today with another five fast cards from White Rose Crafts March Blue Skies subscription kit. If you haven't seen the kit yet, I will link up here to my unboxing as well as the first five cards I made using this fun Where is Spring? I hope it's coming themed kit. Um, I'm a little over gray skies and winter and the sleet that is currently falling outside my window. So bring on the blue skies and the sun and the hope of spring because I am ready for it. This card kit is really, really fun because um, of the 18 six and a half by six and a half papers that are included in the kit, six of them have this really cool reflective glossiness to them. So the piece that I cut on the diagonal is one of these reflective pieces. And it's amazing when you have great paper, it is so easy to make great cards. If you take the time to find great paper, which the six and a half by six kit from Kaiser Craft really is a gorgeous coordinating craft of paper, it's so much easier to create simple cards. Now, if you missed the first fast five cards I made using this kit, I pulled in three sheets of cardstock from my personal collection to coordinate with the, the um, papers and just kind of stretch things a little bit further. Sometimes a girl just needs a piece of solid colored cardstock. So I backed this piece with a bit of dark navy cardstock. And there you go, very simple, but I think really fun card. For card tool, for card two, I pulled out one of the textured um, cards from the kit. So there are four cards in the kit. All three of them, uh, all four of them are actually different sizes. They're not your standard A2 size. Well, one of them is, but it's a shaker card, and that's a whole different kit and caboodle. But this is obviously not a standard A2 size. But it comes with a coordinating envelope, so you don't have to worry about um, packing it up and finding an envelope that fits you. It's been provided for you. I wanted to break up the blue weave of this card. So I broke out the stamp that's provided in the kit and the blue ink and just went ahead and did some real simple stamping. It's not perfect and actually in the imperfection of the stamping, I love how it came out. And I think the card frame just got broken up and turned into a really beautiful bit in the back. Now I'm using the butterfly paper here, which is probably the most gorgeous piece of paper I've seen in a long time. It's another one of these reflective papers and it just is stunning. Each of those beautiful butterflies have their own reflective qualities to them. I added a couple of the iridescent butterflies and called the card done. But of course, if you're gonna stamp on the card, you have to stamp on the envelope because then it coordinates perfectly with each other. Simple card, but because the paper is so gorgeous, really impactful impact. For card three, I wanted to do some layering and use this fun topper that is included in the kit. Um, I cut the 12 by 12 topper up so each individual panel became its own piece of ephemera and I just adore the smile it suits you. It's kind of the perfect kid, kid. It's kind of the perfect kid. No, it's kind of the perfect card to give to my kid who's sullen and sulky and thinks he's outgrown my cards, but secretly loves when I stick them into his lunchbox. He won't admit it. I mean, he has, but he really won't admit it. But he loves still when there's a card from me tucked into his lunchbox. Yes, I tuck secretly um, cards into my kid's lunchbox for them to open at lunch. Actually, I sometimes tuck cards into my kid's lunchbox for their friends. Like I know, if I know one of their good friends is having a birthday or having like playoff games or something difficult, I just go ahead and tuck one in there. Again, not telling my child I'm doing it, but I put the child, their friend's name on the envelope. Um, I'm that mom. I am. And I'm the weird, crazy boy. Your mom's a little off kilter, but thanks for the card, mom. It's okay. We all have to be something and I'm okay with who I am. I love how the Sparkle Blend collection, the Sunny Sky Sparkle Blends, really coordinates gorgeously with this card. The blue card, the blue printed paper you, that is in the panel, you may not realize is actually um, ombre. And I love the just simple effect that that ombre paper gave to this full card. 
for card four, I pulled out some scraps of paper I've already used and actually didn't have to do any cutting on them. This is how they trimmed up when I trimmed them initially to just create a nice little panel on the back of this distressed piece of printed paper. Again, I really adore how nicely this paper pack coordinates. It's a lot of different looks. As you can see, you've got a distressed white like concrete look. You've got a really nice blue wood. You have this piece here that I'm about to glue down that's got kind of that, um, oh, my my brain isn't working, that sham, shit, not shamrock, because that's a flower. You know what I'm talking about, the diagonal little swishy glue deuce. And then the reflective piece in the paper of paper in the middle that just kind of ties everything together. I added a little bit of ribbon and this topper card and one of the fun flower buttons to finish off everything. Again, simple, but the topper really makes the card special. My final card today is proof that if you have great paper, that's all you need. I pulled out, I really wanted rounded corners, and so I cheated and pulled out this ridiculously old hand punch. Don't ask me where it's from, I don't know. I've had it for like probably 10 years, back when the day is my scrapbook for my babies. But I pulled out a piece of the reflective paper, which is this piece right here, trimmed the corners to round, and then pulled out, there's actually a coordinating top, the big 12 by 12 topper sheet, there's an actually six and a half piece of paper in the printed paper of the same thing. So I trimmed it up so I could just use a collection of the toppers all together on one page. That's it. When you have great paper, you don't have to over design. You can just layer a couple pieces together and suddenly you have a card that is special. It's one of the things I love about the White Roses of Crafts subscription kit is because you can do huge designs or you can have simple designs. It's really for any card maker, beginning, experienced, or new. Thanks for watching today. There's one more part to this three-part series, so stay tuned. And until then, happy crafting.